All right, people. Another episode of Random Acts of Podcast. You already know who it is. Ampavelli. I got a special guest in the building all the way. Not even far from me. I'm in Jacksonville. She in, she in Tampa. She actually a hop and skip. We had, <laughs> we, had, we, had, we had to do what we got to do. We got uh, Miss Stephanie Love. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? I already know why you're in Tampa, but let the listener know what you're out in Tampa for because your, uh, your people have sent it to me like a itinerary or why you in Tampa and what you in Tampa for. I legit never heard of that. And I, I got intrigued instantly. Like I said, next time I need to go to that. Yes. Yeah. I've never even heard of it either until I got invited here. Uh, but it's the night moves expo. So it's a stripper expo instead of just a porn one. And so we go to different strip clubs each night and meet up with fans. So I'm pretty excited Definitely. to meet new fans. <laughs> so it's like it's like a mini strip club like tour in Tampa. Like y'all yeah, just kind of. Like... They like divide the girls up into A group and B group, and then we go to strip clubs every night and just meet different people. Some of the girls perform. I'm not performing this time, but next year I'll probably perform. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I said no to this year just because I'm about to get a BBL next week, and <laughs> I gained a whole bunch of weight, and I'm just like, I don't feel like performing right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, you think you you think you might be like a little windy, like you trying to like no, not shit. windy. I just don't like my stomach. I gained a lot of weight to my stomach specifically, so they could suck it out and stick it in my ass next week, and people yeah. are mean. Damn. <laughs> so I had you. What, what you about to say? What you about oh, to say? Next week I'll have a six pack though, so nobody can talk shit. <laughs> Are you you gonna get the Drake six pack or you gonna get the <laughs> it's like called not... ab etching? It's just a way that they take out the lipo section and then it gives yeah. you a six pack. So I'm like, sweet, jump start to getting my six pack back because I used to have one. You know, I now your arms are tight, but you never seen the people they be getting like the six packs and then like they still had the flabby arms it looks weird sometimes but you don't you don't gotta worry about that issue but no i fucking hella work out of the gym i took two months off to prepare for surgery and try to gain weight and not have as much tonage so they have more fat to move but <laughs> i'm usually like a gym fucking junkie <laughs> okay. so with the uh so with you working out and you trying to gain weight like what were you eating to try and like right now i'm eating everything in the goddamn world everything <laughs> oh so you so you eating everything then you hitting the gym yeah yeah oh, okay that's yeah that's, good. that's, 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 that's <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully to be like how many bbls you got or this like the first so one, you got? one i got one three years ago but they did a terrible job and they gave me like a box shaped butt so then uh -huh. i had to like fix it in the gym like hardcore workouts but the more i work out i get hip dips so I'm just getting my hips filled in, honestly. Like, that's the main thing. Because my body just biologically is made with hip dips. So I got to fix that. <laughs> right. So if there's any girls that's, like, watching right now, what tips would you give them, like, if they wanted to get a BBL? Like, what kind of, like, research they need to do so they won't get a bad BBL, like you said, right. you got the first time? Yeah, you just got to make sure you do research on the doctors. At the time, I was living in the Midwest, and that was literally the only doctor that offered a BBL. And I yeah. didn't even look at the reviews. I was dumb as fuck. As soon as they gave me a bad BBL, then I looked at the reviews, and I'm like, oh, wow. Should have done my research. So yeah. just do your research on doctors. Yeah, I know a lot of the girls that's, like, out here, like, mm -hmm. in Florida, they go to, like, Miami and get their BBL. Miami is a BBL place. That's where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was I, so it's funny. Every time I like go to Miami, I'm in the airport. You always see the girls that got like the BBLs, like getting yeah. on the planes and shit. It's always, I don't let That's me not say it's funny. Me. Yeah, like they just they be out on the chair, you know, the little chairs yeah. and whatnot. They be no, like laying funny. across it. It's, it it, it looks crazy. But and that's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> you got somebody going with you? Or you going solo? With yeah, it? I'm bringing my dude to take care of me because, like, I'm really not high maintenance at all. But with the first one, I learned the hardest thing to do is tuck yourself into bed because you got to lay yeah. on your stomach. You get all comfortable. Who's gonna bring the bl like blanket up? That was the yeah. hardest fucking thing. So I really just need somebody to tuck me into bed and keep me company. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I'll be watching. I watch like a couple of videos. It the thing that gets me is the bleeding. I I can't. So whoever your dude is, salute him because I know it's it's gonna it's gonna get a little bloody probably. Yeah, he's always just like, <laughs> I fuck your blood. I don't care. That's what he yeah. <laughs> oh, he he out here running red light, so he used to it. Yeah, like, honestly, he does not get bothered by blood. And I showed him videos of me last time because you do, like, they 
make five incisions on your front and five incisions on your back, but they don't stitch them closed. And they want that fluid to just leak out for a couple of days. And so, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fluid just with a little bit of blood. And so as long as you're not squeamish, it's not too bad. <laughs> okay. I got you. Yeah. See, I watch, um, I'm older, so I watch, I don't know if you ever heard of the website. It's called rotten.com. So I watch I a lot of, go- <laughs> it's like an old website where it's like a bunch of gore and shit. And I watch a bunch of horror movies, so it wouldn't be, yeah, that blood. I like horror movies, so. (laughs) Oh, okay, okay. What's what's your top, what's what's some of your favorite horror movies? Uh, I love, honestly, um, the Hannibal series, like Hannibal Lecter. I mean, that's not, some of them are pretty gory, but yeah. Yeah, That's like more suspense than horror. True, true, true. You know, like. uh, Honestly, no, Rob Zombie. I love the Rob Zombie movies. I was like pulling a blank right there. Like House of a Thousand Corpses is my all time. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. That one's gory. (laughs) House of a Thousand Corpses. What's the other one? Um, Devil's Rejects. Yeah, that the Devil's Reject, the best one to me. That's what everybody says. I don't know why I like House of a Thousand Corpses better, but it's it's either or it's a it's a toss up, but like both of yeah. them good. It's another one where they uh where they were like in Mexico. I forgot the name of it. That one was pretty good. And like I think it's like straight to Netflix. Yeah. I got I got <laughs> I got to look it up. But uh Stephanie, let's get back into uh your story. You from the Midwest and whatnot. Where exactly are you from in the Midwest? I actually don't tell anybody that because I got so many. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. <laughs> but you are from the you are from the Midwest, so yeah, I used to live there. I moved away a couple years ago because I just I don't make enough money in the Midwest. I'll go mm. back and like dance every now and then when I'm visiting family because I love money and I love people throwing money on me. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, so how was it like getting into porn out in the midwest did you like have to travel or there's like a yeah porn I had industry to, out there? um i applied to agencies in la and the first agency i applied to immediately flew me down to la in like a week and i started shooting porn there so yeah i, I mainly shoot vegas miami and uh la those are like the three porn places <laughs> so what made you like get into the industry I started everything by being an OnlyFans girl, literally for a boob job. That was my main goal, is I just wanted a boob job so bad. And it was during quarantine, so that kind of just, you know, everybody became an OnlyFans girl. And then I went viral on Pornhub. I shot with one creator, like my first ever collab went really viral on Pornhub and was on the homepage for days. And I loved Mm -hmm. it. I loved the attention. And I'm like, yeah. I think it's time for me. (laughs) Was it like a, you you said it was a collab? With somebody? Yeah. It was on their page? You're like, you made your own Yeah, page. it was on his page. And uh, he was silly. He got jealous of all the attention I got from it that he actually deleted all the videos in the end. Uh, yeah, yeah. But y'all could have made, y'all, y'all made some bread off that. Y'all could have, like, split it oh, down the middle. he made bread. He didn't share it, but he made bread off of it. It did help my OnlyFans a lot, though, so. Yeah. What that. made you, what made it go viral, like? What it was just a thinking? really hot video. It was me deep throating a nine inch cock, taking it like a fucking champ, and just... <laughs> <laughs> it was hot. It was hot. <laughs> yeah, I wish I, I shit. I probably seen it because I think yeah, during the pandemic, everybody was in the house, so like that was like the influx of like porn for real. So I might have, I might have seen it and even noticed might've. it. You might have. Yeah. I looked a lot different. I had no ass, no titties. I was just innocent looking compared to how I look now. <laughs> <laughs> So you uh you said you wanted you said you got into porn just to get a boob job, right? Yeah, pretty much. And then it just spiraled. I realized how much I love it. I love it so much. I love being on camera and Shit, having as many guys as I can around me. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about that pandemic that just like made everybody just like well, all the people that's in like in the sex worker industry like made them want to get into it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it was a way to make money while still doing sex work without leaving your house. So that was pretty yeah. nice. Cause yeah, we in there. Yeah, we had interviewed some strippers like a couple of weeks ago, and they were like, one of the girls she was actually stripping before the pandemic, mm-hmm. and she said like the influx of like women in the strip club was like insane. Yeah, because it was like one of the things was like one. Of, it was like one of the main jobs that were actually playing because like a lot of people got furloughed and whatnot. So like the strip club was like, hey, it's still some horny motherfuckers out here. They're oh, still yeah. gonna be in the strip club like no matter what. So. Yeah, no, they 
Yeah. My club, because I was in the Midwest, was only closed for, like, two months. It wasn't, like, as bad as other places where it was closed for, like, six months or anything. And when the club opened back up, like, they had people come talk to us. And they're like, it's not about when you get COVID. Or it's not about if you get COVID. You are going to get COVID. Just make sure you don't come to work. And they didn't yeah. make us wear masks on stage for a little while, which was so <laughs> goofy. Because we were fully nude, wearing a fucking mask. Like, it was dumb as fuck. And but whatever, there were sense. so many guys still coming out. <laughs> that, that makes sense. You're not gonna get COVID in your coochie, so it's like that makes sense to put the coat <laughs> with, with the mask on. It it, it, it sounds silly because I'm gonna be honest. If I'm in a strip club and a chick got a COVID mask on, I'm definitely gonna leave. But it it, it makes sense. But that's one of the things. That's just the club owner. He needed to get his money. So yeah, he like absolutely. whatever precautions because okay. it. Hopefully, good thing he didn't go like the full route because, like, you know, some people they was like some business they had like a glass in between. I know, I did see that. That was goofy. Yeah, and like for a while they had a curfew where like you couldn't if you were a club or a bar you had to close at 10 p.m. Well, the club mm. I was working at isn't actually labeled as a club; it's a performing arts venue, so it's a theater. So they yeah. didn't have to adhere to the other rules, and so there was girls driving like four or five hours to work at this club because we were the only fucking club open in the Midwest because we were a performing arts venue and we made so much money during that time. I almost mm. miss it a little bit. <laughs> so, um, so like when you got into the industry and whatnot, mm -hmm. what's the, uh, what's the first company that like you work with? Hot Milfs Fuck. <laughs> Hot Milfs fuck. The, that's the one with milk spelled with a Y? Yes, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, how was it working? It's been how was so it been? long, I gotta think about it. <laughs> how long you been in the game, real quick? Two and a half I, years. Two and a half years. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, I was on your uh, website, and it, it's funny because I actually seen one of your uh, before I even like we had this like set up. I actually seen yeah. like one of your scenes like last week. Like, yeah, which one? <laughs> I saw it was the one on uh, Bang Bro. It's the craziest shit ever. Cause I was, I was watching this shit. I was like, this is a crazy concept. It's called the Porno Dads. Oh my god, that was so funny. I don't know how real or like you oh, can. Oh, that you was can... as real as it fucking gets. <laughs> <laughs> so to the to the people watching right now the concept of the porno dads because everybody was like oh you, i remember back in the day when the bang bus first came out everybody was like oh man i gotta get on the bang bus because everybody like everybody thought the bang bus was real but the bang bus was like it's a bunch of smoke and mirrors of the bang bus yeah but the porno dads it looks look you said it's real i'm gonna believe you sir. in a sense it is okay so like these guys they're really nice guys, but they yeah. all thought it was, like, their real, true chance of getting into porn. They're all yeah. guys that keep trying to be creators and trying to be porn stars. And Bang Bros saw an opportunity to bring on and, like, fulfill this fantasy while filming at reality TV. And, like, yeah. these guys were not porn stars in any way. All three of them, it was their first mm -hmm scenes ever and so they're having to like be taught what to do and my guy he was just trying to fuck and like that's not porn sex like you can't be for missionary laying down on me you need to be yeah. up so we see some penetration so there was like a lot of teaching going on and everything but these guys like they were like this is our first real shot of being porn stars and yeah. I mean, it was like they bros. They they did good with that. They made yeah. a whole series. It's hilarious. Yeah, I watched <laughs> I watched yours for research purposes, quote unquote. And then I seen another one. The other one, it was like the, the it was a black dude. It's a heavy set black dude, and he was um. I think he said he didn't have sex in a while, though. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't it's, think I've seen that one. <laughs> okay, so I got you. So it's legit. It's some dudes that just never did porn before. Like, I was why because I was I don't really I don't really look at the dudes like I'm trying to look at the women. So when I was looking at the guys, I was like, have I seen them before? But I was like I don't really pay attention that much to the guys. So I was like I wouldn't even know if I seen the dudes. Yeah, it's all like they try to find guys that really want to get into porn, and this is like kind of their shot. I mean, if they were amazing performers, one of the guys did get brought back on to do more of the porn dad series so at least he got another chance with bang bros i don't yeah. think my dude got another scene but you know it happens <laughs> so was it so filming with him was it awkward or he just didn't know how to have porn sex so it was just like bro you can't be laying on me you can't be doing this and he was really nice but mm. porn sex is different than real sex it's just 
It's not, okay, whatever feels good doesn't look good. So you're not doing anything for the feel of it. You're doing it for the fucking viewers to see it. Yeah. And so it was just a lot of like, don't do that. Don't do that. But, you know, it was nice. It still came, so. <laughs> yeah, porn, yeah, porn set, it's cool to look at. But, like, you got to think about if you, like, really having sex and you, like, behind, like, if you, like, hitting it from the back and you got to, like, yeah. stand to the side and, like, show your shit. Right. And, like, move your leg. That's, like. That's not fire at all. Yeah, it hurts guys' hips and, like, everything. And, like, yeah, when I'm shooting porn, I am all about making my ass bounce. Like, 90% of it is making my ass bounce. He kept holding my hips so I couldn't make my ass bounce. And I, he's, like, trying to, you know, make me grind, which feels so amazing. But I don't grind during porn sex. I just make my ass bounce and make it look fucking fantabulous. But I couldn't do that the way I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like. Great with the grabbing hips, that's something like you actually do, like outside of the shit. So yeah. I can understand. Yeah. Somebody should have coached him, man. The uh, the guy filming it, the director is also male talent, grimy. And so that's his name, Hey Grimy. And uh he was definitely trying to coach him. So it was like a learning experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could All also, those girls knew yeah. exactly what to do. So we were kind of helping the guys. <laughs> yeah, I could also understand, like also like you could probably don't tell them that much so it could like be more authentic on camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah plus you gotta worry about guys' egos a lot in porn. The second you start being like, oh, I know what to do more than you, guys do not like that. <laughs> I, I went and see the du the dudes, the dads. I'm assuming, like, they just happy to be there. Yeah, I mean, for the most part. Yeah. So have you ever did, you ever did, because uh, we were talking about the bang bus, you ever did the bus before? No, when I started shooting for bang bros, they said that I had already shot too many scenes, that it wasn't going to mm -hmm. look authentic, and it wasn't going to look real, but I'm like, I'm going to do the bang bus. I did the fan bus, at least, and that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dude, they the bring fan out a fan for me to bang. Yeah, it's now like an OnlyFans collab type thing. So I got to put it on all my sites, and I still yeah. go on a bus. I get interviewed, and then I fuck a fan. A fan. <laughs> I, I, I've seen fan bus. I'm gonna admit I was hating on fan bus. Oh, they had that one guy. What's his name? Baby Alien Baby on there. Baby Alien. They went so far with that, and I feel like they just fell off the second they started pushing that whole Baby Alien shit. Yeah, I was, I was hating on that. I ain't like no that. Shame. I, I love Lacey Jane, and she was one of the girls that fucked him. But my agent at the time was like, "Do not fuck baby alien." I'm like, I don't shame anybody, but you know. You was considering you was considering fucking baby alien. I wasn't considering him, but I'm also not going to say anything mean about it. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah, I'll admit, I had, I try not to hate on people, but I had some hate in my blood because I like Jim Jules. Uh -huh. And he did the scene with Jim Jules, and I was like, I don't, I don't really like that shit. I was, I was hating on Baby the Alien, but it is. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Ever since they did the scene with Baby Alien, I haven't really seen them like that. I think they put no. all their chips in that one basket. Yeah, and their big Instagram got deleted, so I think they got tired of like trying to keep rebuilding it. I think they call themselves like Confessions or something now. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, they got a couple yeah. pages. Yeah, I, I seen it. But yeah, back yeah. to the porno dads. That was. <laughs> yeah, Bain Bros, they Bain Bros, they got something with that. So out of um yeah. all the companies that you work for, what's your favorite one? Honestly, Bang Bros. They like to put me to the test. Like the first time I worked for them, they gave me a 13 and a half inch dick. But Good you know, Lord. it was fun. <laughs> so what so what's the other one? Like if you had a name like a top three, like Bang Bros, who else? Bang Bros. I really like working for Love Her Films, which they have a different kind of subcategories, like Love Her Feet, She Loves Black, and I Love Her Boobs, which I haven't worked for Love Her Boobs because my implants aren't big enough for me to, like, give a good boob job, so I've never worked for that one, but I really like that company, and then I like um, Naughty America. <laughs> I couldn't think oh, yeah, of the name. Naughty America. <laughs> yeah, Naughty America. Shout out to them. That is yeah. Yeah, they were popping. I ain't gonna say they fell off, but I I feel like they were like popping more back in the day. You don't really see too many Probably. people talk about them that much. But yeah, I feel that. Shout yeah, out shout, <laughs> out, shout out them. What's some of your uh, favorite creators you like to work with? Um, I have so many. I really like working. I loved working with Brickzilla. Honestly, it was giant. It took two weeks of recovery, but I really love the way it looks working with fucking Brickzilla. <laughs> yeah, <you're a> <laughs> 
And then I have worked with Kieran Lee, and I wondered why his dick was worth a million dollars, because that's, he's the only guy on the planet with a dick literally insured for a million dollars. And I'm like, why? And then I fucked him, and I'm like, oh. That's a, real, that's a real thing? Yes, Brazzers has him insured. He's Brazzers contracted. He, I think he's like the longest male porn star that's been Brazzers contracted and uh. still working for them. And so, yeah, his dick is actually insured for a million dollars. That's like the first thing you see when you Google him. And it was incredible. That's great. <laughs> so he uh, so he only works for Brazzers. Uh, yes, he's Brazzers contracted, but he also does uh, collab. So he'll do like OnlyFans and stuff. But being Brazzers contracted, yeah, he doesn't work for any other sites except for like his OnlyFans and stuff. Okay, so let me ask you. So you just brought up the I think like two of those guys for sure. Like Brick Silla was a uh, black. So yeah. you work with a lot of like uh, black content creators. Yeah, I work with any color. <laughs> you, any race, anything. <laughs> do you see any like um with your fans and whatnot? Let's say quote unquote fans. Do you see any like racism in the comments? Like they give you any issues for working with black guys? A little bit, but it's usually not fans that are actually paying for anything. I was a okay. little worried about it just being from the Midwest because I know racism is still a big problem there. And when I started collabing with uh, you know, everybody they don't talk shit on OnlyFans. They just talk shit, like, when I post promos for it on, like, Facebook or something. But I don't give a fuck about those guys because they're not the ones paying my bills. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. So I know some girls, they get, like, they actual, like, fans, like, that's paying, like, hit them up and be like, hey, I, 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 I would like if you, like, not work with him a little bit. Some, I know some women, they get, like, their fans, like, that's paying that, like, give them issues. Yeah. Luckily, I haven't ran into that. So far, everybody's been really happy about it. And I was also worried about working with bi content creators and doing bi scenes where I'm, like, fucking two guys at once and they're also fucking each other. And so I was worried, like, oh, is this going to hurt my money? And when I posted the first video, it just popped off. Like, guys love it. I think they are a little curious to, like, watch it, but they don't feel gay watching a bisexual scene because I'm there. So... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's still, but it, I don't, I'm going to judge them. But yeah. yeah, everybody's got their own kinks and everything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I like it because I like being double vag. It's my favorite thing in the fucking world. And two straight guys don't really like shoving it in one hole at once. Like, they're just rubbing against each other. So two bi guys are like, absolutely, let's go. <laughs> yeah, because I've seen some scenes where God, that's what kind of why I don't, I had stopped watching uh black because they were doing a lot of that stuff and i was like Are they? That's the, i've seen it a couple of times they were doing like double and i was like that's kind of strange it is like that, cause it's like, i like it because it feels so good for the woman you just feel like you're being ripped apart and like you're gonna die and that's kind of one of my kinks because <laughs> <laughs> i've seen something where like the dudes they were like uh they do like double in the girl's mouth or whatnot mm -hmm. and it was like and they kind of like touch and i was like that's that's yeah, kind of about, yeah, it yeah. really depends on the creators because when I did like Bang Bros with Brickzilla and Dwayne Fox, they made it very clear before we started that their dicks cannot touch. They were mm. like, if you are given a blowjob, you need to make sure that there is some distance because they do want big giant dicks right in my face. But they were yeah. like, if you touch the tips, even a little, we are both walking off set. And I'm like, okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you should have you just tried them. You should have said no, nah, kids. I need my whatever. money. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, don't, don't, yeah, don't do the that. The worst please. thing on a porn set is making a guy soft. I learned that. Like, you just want to accommodate the guy. Even if you fucking hate the fucking individual, you want a hard dick. Because nobody gets paid if the guy doesn't come. Like, nobody. So you need a hard dick, and you need a guy to come. So I learned it. You just fucking keep all your feelings in. The second the guy comes, then, yeah, let them know how you feel. <laughs> yeah, that's good words to live by. So, um... Are there like speaking of that? Is like is that fluffer thing real? Like, are there like legit fluffers? I was once paid just, to be a fluffer in a gangbang. So like, uh, when there's so many men, it is helpful just to like keep the guys hard. But when it's just like a threesome scene or even like four guys on set, like it was a fourteen man gangbang that I was a fluffer for. So you uh, almost need somebody else helping. But I've never seen a fluffer any other time than, like, huge gangbang scenes. That's really all they're used for. You you don't have to be a fluffer on set. Like, a lot of girls will absolutely refuse to fluff men 
in a paid scene because they're like, oh, I, if the camera's not on, I don't have to do it. But like I said, all I care about is a dick being hard. If I need to fluff the guy before we go on camera, I'm absolutely going to do it because I want a better scene. <laughs> and I honestly like sucking dick, so I don't complain. <laughs> when did you uh know that you were good at that? Like, give it a hit. Oh, I mean, back in like high school days, I was fucking already doing gang bangs, and I was known for my blowjob. <laughs> so, <laughs> gang bangs in high all school, the guys too. loved me in high school, but all the women hated me. That makes sense. You probably fucked some of their dudes, so that's probably why they, they I probably all their dudes. <laughs> That's exactly why they hate you. Hopefully they're not look they probably definitely looking at your scene like damn I remember her, but I know they, they still uh, come to my hometown strip club when I do dance. Like all my mm -hmm. high school bullies, all these people come in and I'm just like, Yeah, I know you're masturbating to me every night. <laughs> <laughs> when you back home, do like people like notice you? Like, oh I, I seen you like congratulate you and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't even, like, go to the gas station without getting recognized. People are always like, why are you here? And I'm like, I still have family here. So I come here, you know, to see my family. But, though, yeah, I get a lot of congrats, especially on, like, my Playboy cover and stuff. Yeah. One of my uh one of my friends, she does porn. Oh, you probably heard her. She worked with Bang Bros, too. Her name is Alexis Andrews. I don't so, think I've heard of her. I haven't heard of anybody I haven't met personally. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's a white girl. She's a quote-unquote uh, pog like you. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what that's what yeah that was, yeah her name is I'll, I'll we'll Google her when we get done yeah okay. but uh, she she live out here and like sometimes we be hanging out and like we be going to like the beach and whatnot and like it'd be crazy how many like dudes just be recognizing her yeah and they just like don't give a fuck they be like that's that's Alexis Andrew that's Alexis Andrew and like one ever one time we was on the beach and a dude like legit kissed her feet they were like. <laughs> This shit is I try not to judge people, but I like that's that's insane. But yeah, it's yeah. crazy how many people just like notice like porn stars yeah. like out in the, out in the wild yeah. like that. Every single plane I'm on, there is somebody that comes up to me or says something or if they don't come up to me and say something, I, I see it on my social media later. Like I just went to Arby's the other day and as I was getting my food, this guy was so fucking happy and so yeah. excited. And I was like, he definitely recognized me. And then I got an Instagram message and he had been messaging me since 2021. And he's like, I can't believe you came to the Arby's drive through. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And yeah. yeah I even got recognized when I was like in the Bahamas, I was running around like a fruitcake, like, Oh, nobody's going to know who I am here. Yeah. People still yeah. know me. <laughs> You know, yeah, you definitely get some people that's like they know who you are, but they're not gonna say that because they're like, I don't want nobody to think I like out here doing knowing who porn right. stars is. But hey, right. everybody at the end of the day, everybody watch porn to be honest. Yeah, they do. And like last week when I was going through Newark Airport, one of the security guys was just like, You're Delilah, right? And I'm like, No. And he's like, How do I know you? And I was like, From Pornhub. And he's like, No. And I was like, Honey, you know me for <laughs> masturbating, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you seen he just <laughs> laughed about it. He just laughed about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I know you porno dads. I've seen that. <laughs> or, he asked, or he asked you how to get on porno dads or something right? like that. Uh, fuck. I'm, I'm pretty sure you just apply to Bang Bros and you got to do the testing standards and everything like that, but fuck it. <laughs> yeah, y'all out here, y'all trying to get in the game, y'all trying to get on porno dads. I don't know if they check and see if you're an actual dad, but I don't know. Try I don't it. think any of those dudes were actual dads. Just like I'm on so many MILF sites, like they don't check on any of that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's like the side, like like I said, my homegirl, she don't got no kids, and she right. they don't they put her straight on the MILF site. They're like, "Oh, you in your thirties? Yeah. Oh, yep. speaking exactly. of the, back to the gangbang, I seen you had one where you have you you had one with the legend Queen Rose. Oh, yeah. We took nine dicks together. That was fun. <laughs> I'm, uh, I've seen so Queen Rose. She, I'm pretty sure she wanted to take more than that. She probably was upset that she only got nine. I was upset that she was even there, to be honest, and the two other girls. I was like, can y'all leave and I can just have my day? Like, bye. Like, she was great. But I'm like, I want all these men to myself. <laughs> so if you were if you were to do like a dream, quote unquote, dream game, bang, like how many, what would be the most men involved in it? I mean, I'd be willing to do at least 25. 25? Yeah, I've seen a girl take a hundred before, and she was so rubbed raw that she couldn't fuck for a while. And so I don't want that, but I could definitely do twenty five. 
<laughs> you thought about like setting it up with like a company or like on I your own life for the only person? I want to eventually, but I don't do anal regularly and I've never done DP. And so mm. I don't want to do anything until I got all three of my holes officially fucking ready. And then uh, I'm going to get into it. But absolutely, you, I want to one day. <laughs> you, could do one, you could do one. Cause I remember that back in the day, they had the lady. I forgot she did like, I don't know how many she did. 900 like, did. and something is the record. Yeah, she like lined them up. I don't, she wasn't doing them all at once. She just like yeah. lined up. She went guy by guy. Yeah. And that's what Rebel Ryder did recently. She did one in Chicago, and like it was just you know regular dudes that got tested, and they just lined up, and they could use any of her three holes. And she's a anal freak. She loves anal. Yeah. So I talked to her after, and she was like, "Oh yeah, that ruined my pussy. So next time I do it, anal only. Like she only wants them to fuck her ass." <laughs> Salute her. Yeah. That, 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 uh, how many? How many did she do? A hundred. A hundred. God damn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have. They they probably had a wheelchair ready for her. That's just like two. That's too many. Probably, and she did have fluffers on set because I watched the behind the scenes. So she did have fluffers helping her. So that's at least something. <laughs> yeah, that fluffer was an MVP. Right. All them, all them, all them dudes. So let me ask you. Um, you was on the Playboy magazine. The Playboy is legendary. Yes. How did that come about? I had a guy come up to me at AVN's, a photographer, and he just told me, oh, I'm going to put you on the cover of Playboy. And I thought he was lying at first because there's so many fucking scam artists. Mm -hmm. And so I flew to Vegas not knowing if it was official or not. And it came out probably five days after we shot that. So it happened, like, really fast. And it was just going to the shoot and getting it done. <laughs> That's what's up. Congratulations on that. Thank Did you. you uh, when that came out, did you get, like, more, like, more work in the industry? Not really, no. Nobody really cares about Playboy anymore oh, <laughs> in the okay. industry. They just care I'm about sorry. how you deep throat cock. But also, Playboy didn't even put porn stars on until recently. They had a big rule about putting porn stars on Playboy for a long time, like while Hef was there. Yeah, because I think like most of the most of them were like pretty much like celebrities on time. Yeah, yeah, or just models. If a girl was a porn star, then she wasn't allowed to be on Playboy. They had a really dumb rule about it. So that just recently changed, and I would say the last five years they started putting porn stars on Playboy. See, I never have looked at a Playboy magazine until like <laughs> uh, a couple years ago. We were yeah. doing like one of our rooms in the studio. We were like decorating it, and I did like uh magazines and frames mm -hmm. so i was doing a couple hip-hop magazines and i said let me just put some playboys in there yeah so uh, before i put the, so i put it before i put it in the frame all right let me look at this and see see what see what the fuck's in it yeah. so it was uh it was michael jackson's sister latoya jackson oh yeah <laughs> so I looked at it i was like latoya looked decent i yeah. ain't never looked at latoya jackson like that I was like she looked she was butt ass naked in the shit right i'm pretty sure uh the, the yeah. dad didn't like it but fuck it yeah, they didn't even let me get naked in mine, though. I showed my tits uh -huh. and my pussy, but because I have tattoos, they wanted me to cover it. So I had to wear, like, a full-length evening gown and just, like, take out my boobs and pussy. So that was silly. But they they try to do, like, tasteful nudes. Like, there's no penetration or anything like that. That's crazy. So why they didn't, why they didn't want you to show your tattoos? Like... Playboy, I mean, they just now also started allowing a girl with tattoos to be on the cover. That used to be yeah. a huge thing. Because I remember watching the girls next door, and one of the pl girls had a fucking Playboy bunny tattoo, and that made it so she couldn't be on Playboy. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So Hugh Hefner absolutely fucking hated women, and he absolutely hated women with tattoos. <laughs> Well, we know where uh, we know where he was at right now. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna say it, but yeah, we know where he at right now. Yeah. But uh, speaking <laughs> of your tattoos, speaking of your tattoos, what's your favorite tattoo? Because you got a lot of them. Um, probably this one. I just like how it's done. It's like really yeah. designy with like a fake, like rhinestone type thing, <laughs> fake jewel in it. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah. Oh, I like that one you got in your back. I couldn't tell whether it was a devil or an angel. It's me. It's you, definitely. Yeah, you. as a succubus, I made me as a succubus because men fucking me needed to know that they're fucking a succubus. <laughs> like, <laughs> definitely I'll steal your soul. <laughs> definitely, definitely topless. How, how how long it took to get that one? That was that's your best tattoo to me. Yeah, it was a couple sessions. I can't remember exactly. It was probably like three years ago, but I just go in and I disassociate. So I don't know how long it took or anything. I know it was a few sessions though. <laughs> 
I hate that new shit they're doing. You ever seen it? When uh, um, because I got a lot of tattoos too. You probably can't see it on the mm-hmm. camera, but um, I hate that new shit people are doing where they like go under anesthesia and get tattoos. They're bitches. I was saying that about Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly. He's a fucking bitch. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's not the first time that's been said on the show. But yeah, I hate that yeah. shit. Yeah, like they just they just go under and get your tattoo because the but best I part. I didn't is realize right. how like bad blackout tattoos hurt until I started getting this, and it's almost mm-hmm. just like all black. And mm-hmm. I couldn't walk for two weeks after getting it. Oh, it was so bad! I would just hobble around every time I tried to like stretch my legs and take a normal step. I couldn't yeah. because it was so fucking painful so it's definitely different than getting like line tattoos but jesus <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you yeah you're brave for that because i got a um i got one on my shin mm-hmm. and like yeah that whole day i couldn't walk i had to sit the fuck down the whole day so yeah. the fact I you got really your whole surprised it took me two weeks to walk normal <laughs> yeah yeah all the swelling and shit yeah that makes sense yeah. then it's, like peeling. it's crazy Mm-hmm. I love tattoos. The, the thing I hate the most about tattoos is when they be wiping it with that dry ass paper towel. That's the only thing I hate about it. I know. I I have some funny videos on Instagram and Facebook where I'm just like the entire time I'm getting tattooed, I'm like I'm gonna fucking kill you. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate <laughs> you. And my tattoo artist just sits there and laughs at me the whole time. <laughs> shit, sounds like you need to be under anesthesia, like man, <laughs> like machine gun kill. Shut up. Just to shut yeah. up. <laughs> no, that's 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 the best part of getting tattoos. I had you had you had some awards. Were one was one, one of them for tattooing for getting tattoos? Uh, well, because I'm an inked girl, I get put in like the tattoo categories. But I got alt performer of the year, and then the alt award show gave me best premium social media star. So, yeah, <laughs> Ur- Urban Urban X, right? Or yeah, no, they're the ones that gave me alt model of the year. Mm. Which some people apparently were complaining about. They don't think I'm alt enough because I have, like, blonde hair and I look like a Barbie doll. But, you know, my fans, if that was a fan vote. Like, my fans fucking love the fuck out of me. And they will sit there and vote and vote and vote and vote and vote. Yes, <laughs> so I was about to ask, like, what is alt? Alt is like, alt like, is like em- I emo? Mean, Goth looking? I don't know. I, I guess piercings, tattoos, colored hair, just the alternative look, you know? And yeah. I look like a Barbie doll that's just tatted. And I used to have a lot more piercings, but I had a really bad accident with one of my piercings. So I don't do piercings anymore. But I used okay. to be a lot more alt, I would say. <laughs> you got the blonde hair. You man, you match the look. Barbie right? dolls. Don't got <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I like looking like a little Playboy bunny, just you know, with my tattoos. <laughs> so what's the what's something on your body that like most of your fans compliment? Just my t- ass and my tits. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. So you get so you 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 get the most compliments about your ass, but you say you got a bad BBL and I you mean, about to I get... fixed my BBL. I oh yeah, you that. said you went to the gym. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I did body sculpting and stuff. So like you can't really tell I have a bad BBL unless I show pictures of it. And then you're oh, like, okay. Oh my god, that was so bad. But I fixed it. It it's... was really painful doing body sculpting. I would say body sculpting is almost more painful than doing fucking a BBL, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah it's a couple of women back in the day. They it was like it was before the BBL, like when they were getting the the implants and shit in their ass. Oh yeah, those don't I, f- I feel like that cut that killed a couple of women's careers. They're like yeah. as soon as you see it, like, there's no jiggle and there's no shake. Like when you're getting a fat transfer, you're still gonna have fat, so it just looks realistic. Those implants look so fucking bad, and they feel terrible. You grab an implant ass, like it does not feel good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've uh, yeah, I've I've grabbed a bad BBL. When you slap, it's like it's like slapping a tether ball. So it's like <laughs> like the shit doesn't move at all. It's like nah, give me an authentic ass, whether it's small or little. It don't. I've 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 seen girls with good BBLs, but yeah, they gotta go. They gotta go to They gotta spend the right money. They can't go to uh, they gotta go to. I ain't gonna say Dr. Miami, but like you know, some they go in the little wherever they go like some country or something they get the bad shit or whatever or they go like the midwest and get a bbl i ain't really right? get, I ain't <laughs> get bbls in the midwest yes no and they so charged me sixteen thousand dollars for my first one and did such a bad job yeah. i seen a couple women they get the bad ones they got the it they don't even really pay for them they like do like social media mm-hmm. uh, they like shout the people out and they like Give them, give them BBLs for free, right? Like, shit. 
that's pretty much what you you didn't pay for it so that's what you, that's Absolutely. what you get pretty much uh, yeah <laughs> so let me ask you um real quick i've been seeing like a lot of people like talking about content creation they've been saying that con creating content is harder than working a nine to five so do you think doing porn is harder than working a nine to five no Good no. a lot I've of worked a lot of nine to five jobs. I worked call centers. I troubleshooted IP for a while. I mean, I went to fucking college and all of that shit was so much harder than getting fucked on camera. I'm sorry. Like maybe it's hard to promote yourself and get your face out there, but yeah. no, a nine to five is a lot fucking harder. I mean, mainstream porn is different. Content creating, I don't think is as hard as people fucking make it out to. Mainstream yeah. porn is absolutely fucking hard. That is hard, but yeah. content creating, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, their, their whole their whole thing was they were like, when you do content creation, you gotta keep the you gotta keep people like entertained. Like there's yeah. a couple of dudes, they're like streamer. They're like, you gotta keep people entertained on the stream for five hours. They were like, if you work a job, you just gotta lift some boxes and shit. But yeah. they were they were trying to base yeah. it off of that. But, but it's like, they must just not be entertaining people because I literally was just on my OnlyFans for a fucking hour live right before this doing my fucking makeup. That was easy as shit. And I kept everybody fully fucking entertained. I just yeah. think that you have to have the right personality for it. I think a lot of people see content creating as something easy, but they're not authentic. They just try to copy yeah. other people. And that's when it's hard when you're just fucking copying other people and not being authentic. Then, yeah, it's probably going to not be very easy for you if you're not already entertaining. And like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a good point on that. Yeah, definitely. Cause yeah. like you like like you said, some of the people that's like in doing content, they just doing it because other people are doing it. Yeah. So that might be the issue why they can't come off authentic and like be entertaining. So you yeah. got a good you got a good point on that. Yeah. So Stephanie, we're about to wrap this up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you had to suggest to people like three scenes they need to go out and look from your you your OnlyFans or like your professional shit. Yeah. What would what would what's some of the scenes that you would suggest that people hit the Google for? My favorite OnlyFans video, if you want to find that one. I, all of them are listed on stephaniethestripper.com. I do have one where I full speed ride a fucking jet ski while taking dick. That <laughs> one is definitely one of my good ones because I almost died from that shit, too. That's <laughs> <laughs> fun. But, um... You got a life jacket on? Scenes, yeah, oh, I did. Okay. Gotta Safety be a little first. safe. Safety little first. safe. <laughs> and I, I would say my browser scene is so good. It's with Chantel, Danielle... And Van Wild, and that one is so fucking good. I love it. It's so goofy and funny. And then my Bang Bro scene with Brigzilla and Dwayne Fox. Oh, check that you. out. Hell yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey. I, I spammed it. Porno dads. Add that fourth. That's Hell the fourth yes. one. Porno dads. Don't Porno that dads. That's, that's, that's a legendary <laughs> one right there. But uh, Stephanie, I really, really appreciate you. Yes, I appreciate Go you ahead. too. This is fun. Definitely. I'll. Promoter your stuff, all the stuff you got going. I know you got a mag, you got a not a magazine. You do got a you got you got the Playboy another one. You got a calendar out. Calendar. Yes, I do have a calendar. I have two. I released one on my own that's like really fucking graphic, like gaping assholes, fucking penetration, all that stuff. And you can only buy it personally through me. And then on, but there's so many foreign people that don't have like Cash App and Facebook Pay and shit. Huh. And I don't have a payment portal. And so I did also release one with fan gear, but they're just more restrictive because it's Visa and MasterCard and you can't really fucking put gaping assholes and penetration on theirs. Gotcha. So it's still nude, still hot as fuck, but there's just two different styles of calendars I have out right now. <laughs> yeah, if y'all want to see the booty holes, get them straight off, straight off hers. If you out and you go overseas, we'll figure something out. We'll, we'll, we'll smuggle in there for you. Right. Well, I was trying PayPal, but I'm banned from PayPal for life. So I was giving my God, dude's yeah. PayPal and he has this fucking picture of him on there. So every time I gave fans a dude's PayPal, they're like, yeah, this is a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Y'all go, yeah, go check it out. Stephanie the Stripper, right? Yes. Stephanie the Stripper dot com. Uh, I hey, started out when I was just a stripper, so I just went with it. <laughs> so that's, that's, it. that's what you is. You you, you you do you do more. You got a lot going on. And then when you go to uh, what's it? Night moves yes. next year. 
I'm gonna have to go to that one because you said you actually gonna get on the poll. So yeah, we'll, we'll check I'll that out. We, we might have to good. bring our. We might have to bring our. They can they, they allow cameras and they like do content like not no. I don't know. This shit. I don't know. When I danced in San Diego and Tijuana during a feature, they let everybody film it. But then, like in New York City, they didn't. So it just depends on the club's rules. I always say, "Fuck yeah!" Just tag me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll pull up next time you're in there. But yes. definitely. <laughs> Once again, we appreciate you. There's been another episode of Random Max of Podcast. We on the stream yard with it. Next time we gotta do a part two in person or something like that. We'll figure yeah. it out. Oh, but fun. uh, <laughs> definitely. Hey, with all that said, we out. Thank <laughs> you.